Hi Virgo, it's L here to do your mid-monthly reading. I want to say thank you for tuning in. Uh, thank you to those who like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, what else? What's this going on? Oh, there was something else. I can't think of it right now. So let's just get started. Well, when I was shuffling off camera for you guys, I just kept hearing outgrown or grown. It's just, I don't know if some of you, my Virgos, you have outgrown or you've grown. Um, I think, I feel like it's for the better. But you're still holding on. You're still holding on to what is comfortable, what is familiar, what is, um, what doesn't, um, uh, force you to come out of your, your your comfort zone it's safe there wherever there is you fill in the blank um, but it's almost a longing or a want to actually go forward and move forward but there's safety there you know safety in that situation whatever situation that very well maybe but um some of you dealing with people who just don't have your best interest at heart not anymore maybe they started out they did for some of you you were in relationship business partnership whatever friendship where the energy matched you know if you like to do whatever you know drugs have fun be irresponsible that person was right there with you and then you grew it's like i, I keep hearing grown and maybe that person didn't grow with you that's the unfortunate um the unfortunate side of relationship we we hope and we pray that people grow with us but sometimes we grow apart Some of you concerned about what others are saying. You put yourself in so much obligation. Or somebody feels like you, you it's so much obligation to deal with you. But at the same time, you've grown. So now what you what you wanted 10 years ago or what you needed 10 years ago is completely different from what you need now what you will accept what you're used to so yeah let's see bottom of the deck six of cups yeah it's like look the boy is older than her now this could be of course literally somebody's older someone's younger it could be that you guys are the same age but someone has matured over the time it used to be maybe that you guys were equal Six of Cups. Equality. You used to want the same things. Now you don't. Let's see. The Two of Swords. Some of you dealing with a Libra. Gemini, Aquarius. We got to make a head over heart decision. Virgo, King of Pentacles. Obligation. The husband. The wife. This is the name of the husband, the, the breadwinner, the, the mover and the shaker, the businessman, um, the person who makes decisions based upon everyone involved and tries to make the, the correct decision. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Page of Wands. What did I say? Someone wants to choose a new route. The Page of Wands talks about newness moving in a new direction sometimes abruptly sometimes it's not well thought out but it's the longing to move away from seven of pentacles but what keeps you there is obligation seven of pentacles the time energy effort you've you know expended somewhere in some situation business job relationship This keeps you tied because with the Seven of Pentacles, it's a looking back at the time, the energy spent. And it's a, it's a longing to 
want to get something from that. Like I put in all of this. I didn't get exactly what I wanted or what I need. Maybe if I wait it out. This is a. It's almost it's a, it's hopeful. You know, you're staying hopeful about investment. The investment you made. At this point, you aren't getting what you want. King of Swords. So maybe dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is typically Aquarius or Libra. Uh, Aquarius man. Leaper woman, Aquarius woman, a little older. I want to say 30, 30 ish and older. Let's see what this is about. Six of Cups is definitely about. Time, energy, emotion, spent. You could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, Gemini, someone of a different background or culture, someone who's is flashy or fancy or, you know. They could be materialistic. Someone who's fair. Fair in complexion. The hermit, you pop up. Yeah, you go within. This is self reflection. This is looking at past experience. What did I do in the past? to get here how can I change that because I want change for my future wow, the star card some of you dealing with an Aquarius directly all right ace of cups temperance the Sagittarius six of sword Some of you are on break or not talking to maybe an Aquarius person or somebody here. You want to heal the situation because there's a lot of love here. You find balance with this person. You have not expressed this to said person, six of swords. You want to, to, to six is now. Um, you just want balance. and it, it feels as if you found that with one particular person but you're already tied to the king of pentacles is typically already obligated to um committed to temperance you want you and this person you need to learn how to interact with each other it's too much hostility maybe because of things going on in the past you or this person wants to get to a more stable peaceful way of being with each other or at least communicating with each other there's too much masculinity there's too much femininity there's no balance of the two you guys have to learn how to marry the energy the yin and the yang you are very different well, not that different, but you might be dealing with somebody who gets a lot of attention, who has a public forum. Yeah, she may be. Let's see who this is. We got Gemini flipped over. With the three of sword. This is the wife or the the head woman, the number one woman right now. You may be having communication with her or him. 
in regards to um, maybe the trouble in this relationship. Due to jealousy or greed. Mm. You may be making a choice. Maybe with a Gemini person or a choice of lovers. Someone may be divorcing and or separating due to infidelity. Lies and deceit. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Seven and three. Ten. Somebody's ending something. Or on the brink of. They need a push. Hmm. Okay. Let's see if we can get some career and finance. Career and finance messages for Virgo. There may be children involved in a union. There's a lot of obligation here. Somebody can't just walk away, you know. I mean, they could, but... All right. Unexpected money. Good luck. Coming in for Virgo with the Ten of Clubs. These cards mean... Um, yeah, they have different meanings than the Tarot. Seven of Clubs. They got a lot of fire energy. Um, your psychic abilities are heightened towards the opposite sex. Um... Prosperity, abundance is coming in for you. You will succeed. Success is here. Might even have a man or a woman offering their heart, their cup. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, or this could be you. Queen of Clubs. Um, whoever this is, this could be... Somebody with air in their chart and fire in their chart, water in their chart. You, money's good. It looks like money's tied in with love. <sighs> Career and finance, right? And as soon as I say it, the Ace of Hearts, new friendship, new love. With the king of spades, king of swords, two, the same king in two separate decks. So we're definitely dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Typically that's a Libra or Aquarius. We do have Gemini on the, on the board. Hmm. Wow, a successful success in marriage and home. But this is a five. This is only if you change something. If you cut away. If you remove. Seven of hearts. The unfaithful spouse or partner. Someone who makes promises just to break them. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. And then we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. Uh, so, money, what thing? There's no pentacles, except for the king of pentacles. And then the five of diamonds. Wow. So, this is definitely a love reading. I can't say I didn't try. Um, let's get some angel answers in here. It's very, um,. simple. It's just like somebody's on the brink of. It's like you're holding on to one situation because it's familiar. Or you have family involved. Um, it's comfortable. But if somebody pushes you in, in the direction that you really want to go and you know you would get more information. Yeah. Two of Swords. 
it'll take you to that three of swords once you get more information to the six of swords it's it's like if you get more like somebody like i said somebody pushes or someone's pushing something perfect timing wow we do have temperance Ask your angels. Right. And do one more. And then we're going to close it out. Reconsider. Okay. Alright, so we're going to go over to the website and clarify our angel answers cards. Put some butterfly oracle cards on it to see what Virgo should be focused on going forward for mid-November. It just looks like you're in a place of, of um, transition and change, but you need to push. You need, you need to get more information and also wait for perfect timing, as Virgo would anyhow. So, Virgo, thank you for t uh, tuning in. It's, um, it's a pleasure to be able to give random strangers a bit of clarity. Um, to see the extended reading it will cost you one dollar fifty cent one dollar fifty cent gets you the extended reading a potential outcome for your situation if you feel like it's resonating thus far head over to the website purchase the extended reading um, you can also purchase your own personal reading uh, go over to the website look around and do that um, virgo know that i am praying for you pray for me as well nothing but the highest prayers for you all, take care. I'll talk to you soon.